Taurus, I hope you're all well today. So we'll be looking at who is coming towards you in love 2022. We have the Fool and Six of Swords, uh, Aries Energy, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn. Those are the signs. And we do have Scorpio here, our Cancer, Pisces, the water signs. This person is represented by the Fool and Six of Swords. It's a carefree energy, someone who's very excited. Um, they may be um, transitioning, making some sort of changes here around the time they meet you if you have not met them, right? So they are, yeah, it definitely can be someone you've walked away from who's wanting a new beginning with you. I see that, but others of you, yeah, it's, this person may have moved to where you're at, but they're, they're embarking on a new journey here around the time they meet you. And I say this because we also have strength for how you'll meet. I wasn't getting much from that card in terms of how you'll meet, so I did clarify, and we have winter. So winter may be significant for this meeting, and we have new friend. Because we have a new friend here, uh, a lot of you, this is a new person with Fool, right? It's a fresh slate. We have influential mentor or business colleague. So this has something to do with your work for some of you. Or this person may just be very supportive because strength definitely can be um, compassion for another, right? So it, it can be someone who's wanting to protect you, to guide you here as well, or vice versa. Um, but yeah, this is how I'll start off is either as a, you know business colleagues, coworkers, and a strong friendship here. And then you'll go from there is what is coming through. But winter for some reason is significant here for this meeting. Your thoughts, we have Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess. I think you'll feel very comfortable in this person's presence. You'll like them. Uh, you'll feel safe, nurtured, protected. And there is a strong emotional bond here as well. So yeah, just someone, some of you may even see long-term or family with this person because I do have children here. It's interesting because we have the baby here and she's holding the baby. I think you'll have a lot of affection for this person as well right? Unconditional love almost is what I'm getting. And they, for you, once they get past their, they're very reserved here initially is what I'm seeing. Some of you, that, that workplace scenario, I'm definitely getting that because we have her work hard at work, right? But there's also, may start off as a bit of a secret crush vibe is what I'm getting for those of you that don't know them. But you'll, your intuition will be on point. So I do see you listening right? And listening to your intuition to sort of navigate through this situation. There are intentions towards you or when they meet you, their intentions towards you have death, eight of wands. And both of these cards signify change. So they're wanting some sort of change here. If it's a past person, um, it's almost someone who's working on themselves and they want to see things move forward with you, right? They're, they don't want to be stagnant in life and they're ready for that next chapter here in their life with Fool, right? And even past person, it can be that they've ended something recently around the time they meet you because they were walking away, right? Six of Swords. They're walking away from thought process. They can, it can be a location, people, places, things, whatever their situation is. But they are ending a significant cycle in their life and that is around the time they meet you. So yeah, definitely butterflies in the stomach. They'll be very excited. And there is a strong uh, physical attraction here. Um, coming from this person so they'll definitely want passion right death is also scorpio ruling our eighth house of sex so yeah definitely that that is what they have on their mind but there's also a strong emotional connection here as well how they'll be acting towards you we have queen of cups the sun very nurturing uh caring wanting to listen to you very supportive of you wanting to make you laugh you know take you out date you they there it's a very sweet caring energy i don't really have much to say about this it's more of a feminine energy coming through this person will be very attracted to your figure just the way you look your outer beauty but also queen of cups definitely who you are as a person as well but definitely a strong chemistry here passion coming through how they'll be feeling about you we have two of pentacles two of swords hermit this is someone who's very work focused so if you meet at work or through like, say a co-worker yeah you'll see that this person's very busy they're preoccupied they have a lot going on actually around the time they meet you so they're juggling maybe two jobs so they may not be able to give you their undivided attention here but also if they have ended something say for example a, a relationship 
marriage, whatever. Um, it's self-care is coming through someone who's uh, self-reflecting. And even if it's a past person, it's someone who's working on themselves. They're slowly but surely, they're transforming, they're changing into a better version of themselves, right? Which is beautiful. And this person's being very patient with themselves here as well and they're healing. So yeah, they're not the most... Um, uh, how do I say it? They're not someone to rush into anything. I see them taking their time and they will have a decision to make when it comes to you here as well. Can you tell me more about this energy that is coming towards Taurus? There may be a fear of rejection as here as well because two of swords can also be, you know, I need more information. Um, I need to get to know you better before I make a decision. And some of them, will you reject me if I fail? There may be a fear of rejection here which is why this person holds back a lot some insecurities with that virgo energy right i was telling you they're working on themselves who is this energy coming towards taurus in love 2022 i'm afraid we might not challenge each other enough yeah this may be an issue um but also it can be <laughs> We also have, I don't want to play games with you. So yeah, if you've been dealing with someone who's manipulative or messing with your head, I don't see that. I see this being a friend friendship, really. I actually want one more with, I'm afraid we might not challenge each other enough. My family may not approve of you. I feel you slipping away. So there may be times here um, where there's there is stagnancy, right? Yeah, I would like to get a drink with you. So the way it starts off is sort of slow. And look, I have a hard time trusting people. And you see that protective energy? It's almost like she's protecting her heart there. And we have that same energy here, right? So yeah. That can be difficult, especially, you know, if you're wanting to get to know someone romantically and they're not opening up, then yeah, there's not much to... If no one's letting their guard down, you're not being vulnerable, it's hard to get close to someone here as well, right? Is what I'm feeling. But this person does have a lot of insecurities, Taurus. But I do see you going out for drinks, getting to know each other better. This can work, but you need to be more trusting and vulnerable with one another. Because bottom deck energy here, we also have fear. Fear is blocking connection. Look at that blocked off energy. I think it's coming from this person for a lot of you. But it can be you with five of cups. We have scared to take a leap of faith. Losing sleep due to fears. Yeah. Overstressing, overthinking. Can even be an air sign, but have strong air placements. Yeah, obsessive thinking here when it comes to the situation. A fear of getting hurt, especially if it is a new person, Taurus. You've both been hurt and you're both very protective. In your feelings, we have Knight of Swords, Five of Cups. If it's a past person, I think you do miss them. Um, or there may have been some disappointment here and you do want communication or you'll have something to say to this person um, for this year. But others of you, yeah, part of you is wanting to really rush in. Um, you're excited by this energy, especially if it's new, but what's slowing you down here is your past experiences, Five of Cups. So a little bit of your past here, coming through here um, that you're still holding on to. Some disappointment, perhaps a third party situation that you were dealing with here in the past. And if I'm picking up on your past person, um, which I'll get letters, characteristics, physical features, and then if you're not sure, then that will help you figure that out but yeah past person's wanting to come back with an apology here with the knight of cups and it's really up to you but if they've done you wrong right in the past you feel like you're going around in circles with them maybe it's time to establish stronger boundaries which i wasn't um clarifying i wasn't intending on clarifying the knight of cups but these two are wanting to flip through which is queen of wands seven of cups so yeah queen of wands knows her worth Gender doesn't matter here, right? Um, someone who's confident, very attractive, and has no issues attracting potential suitors. So they're saying if one situation doesn't work out, work out, you have options, right? 
So don't limit yourself in any way. You deserve the best because you are the best with the Queen of Wands. So there may be some healing that you need to do here because this is heavy energy. Devil, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Yeah, it's heartbreak. But it also, if you don't resonate with that energy, it can be this person here as well. Yeah, look at this. We have sexually hooked, addicted to sex, intense sexual chemistry, frequent sexual encounters. Yeah, they definitely want something physical with you. And they may be a little bit obsessed with you when it comes to, you know, the intimacy. The chemistry is through the roof. But we also have guarded, which we got throughout this reading. We have resisting connection. Their guard is up, trying not to fall in love. Yeah, this person's trying to they're a bit resistant here and it's because of whatever happened to them in the past right they're saying they're ready to move forward and move into that next stage here when it comes to your life but when you, they meet you it's almost like it's triggering for them and they have a hard time trusting people i have a hard time trusting people can i trust what you're saying or are you making up stories right is what is behind that card we have apology, confession, mending, relationship, rebuilding. Definitely that past energy and we have a confession here or an expression of love, Knight of Cups. So it'll be up to you, right? Because you do have other people vying for your attention as well. You're the Queen of Wands. So the decision will really lie in your uh, hands here. And others of you, yeah, if it's a rocky start with this new energy, it can be mending relationship. It may not get off on the best foot, but it doesn't mean it can't get there with time, right? There is feelings here and it, they are mutual. We have love offer. Sincere offer of love, romantic gift, expression of love. That is how we are ending the reading, which is beautiful. So there is an expression of love headed your way. Okay, I want to get more uh, characteristics here for this person and maybe physical features. Articulate. Yeah, Six of Swords is it can be a great communicator, but it's also a little bit of a detached energy for how this person will be approaching you. We have different culture race, so they may have a different background from yourself. Or they may be from a distant hygienic. So this is someone who's very clean. Self-care was coming through, right? Yeah, definitely. Virgos can be very particular about their hygiene, their health. And just everything needs to be proper. I mean, that is that sign of um, paying attention, paying close attention to details. So it can be. Love at first sight. Love at first sight. Who is it? You really like them. I was getting that with the Queen of Pentacles. Because you feel like, you feel at ease. And there's just a, you know, genuine liking for it's an instant friendship on your side. Love at first sight. See, I'm seeing more lust here. Eight of Wands, death. Yeah, as I say that, bottom deck, sexual. So you're doing all sorts of things to this person when they meet you. But they're trying hard not to get, you know, fall too fast. I'm not taking that. Who is this person coming towards? Taurus in love 2022. A gentleman or a woman that would be very courteous and considerate when it comes to your needs. Medium height and loves children. Is that why we keep seeing children here? I actually want to point this out to you and we have passionate. So yeah, this will be someone who's very passionate when it comes to you. But bottom deck energy, new baby. And look at all the imagery here. Baby, baby baby in the background here so i'll leave that to your interpretation if you want children it definitely can be but it can be a new beginning when it comes to your love life some of you may have children with this person and you'll be reconciling and they want to make things right if there was some disagreements here who is this person coming towards taurus in love 2022 what can you tell me about this person W. I. So this can be first, middle, last name, or some, I don't know. If the, these letters can hold some significance to you. We have W I K.
Curvy was wanting to come through. A B, all letters for you. Funny, so yeah, this person will really make you laugh. They have a great sense of humor. They do want to please you as well. With Queen of Cups, Sun. Sun can be a very uh, childlike, playful uh, connection. Someone who's wanting to date you. Uh, with the fifth house, they're wanting to date you, get to know you better. And they will want to please you and make you laugh. And they'll have a great sense of humor. Perhaps you have both share a similar sense of humor. Hair. Something about their hair you may like or it stands out, their nose. Let's get one more for you. And H. And they're affectionate. They will be we have sexy and affectionate. They'll think you're sexy, but you'll also think they're very hot. It's mutual attraction. A lot of letters here. H V W I K. Who is this person coming towards Taurus in love 2022? Fun colored hair, which is funny. Um, <laughs> we have funny hair and we have fun colored hair. Maybe blue hair because for who they were in Six of Swords, we have blue hair. In their feelings, we have blue hair. Similar, look at that, same color. Maybe that'll stand out to you here as well. Their colorful hair, funny hair. They're muscular. Ooh, they work out. You'll really like their body. And they obviously like yours. I was telling you about that. Bigger. Short hair. A lot about their hair coming through. Who is coming towards Taurus in love 2022? We have a woman. So some of you are looking for a woman. It's a beautiful energy. If that is the case, Queen of Cups. Really loving, sensitive energy, but very self-protective. Do you see how she's hugging herself here as well? This like same imagery here, Taurus. If you're asking about a man, a beard was wanting to come through. Who is coming towards Taurus? White clothing? I don't know. You may like this person in white clothing. They may like you in white clothing, but... Something pure, innocent, angelic about this person with that baby imagery as well, right? We have Asian. Who is this person coming towards Taurus in love? They may have a mole. Or just a marking on their face somewhere. I don't know. I want a few more because of general reading. We have oval face. Unhealthy habits. So this person may have some vices. They may be smoking. I'm not sure what they do. She, there's smoke around her. We have brunette and medium hair. And mixed color eyes with vibrant apparel. <laughs> we have older than you and then younger than you. So it really depends actually. Not really getting much from that. Let's get you advice, Taurus. So it said manifestation. So some of you, you're currently manifesting this person with the high priestess and you're having faith. You have an inner knowing that this person is coming, so you're excited. And meanwhile, you may be working on your stability here with the Queen of Pentacles or your children or just your home, your work, right? So you're focused on yourself and thumbs up. And they're saying all is well. Oops, there's a few cards here that are upside down. Yeah, they're saying you're ready for love. Um, be open to new opportunities, which is nice, you know. We have all as well. Everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. Find peace and wisdom by accepting what is. Yeah, I don't know what this Five of Cups energy is for you. Because she is crying here, right? Um, so if there is any residual energy from your past, let go. As I was about to say, let go. Look at she's drowning here. Can be overtly emotional. They're saying break free from what's holding you back and move forward. Don't wait for the change, create it. Yeah, it's time to push forward. It's not a time to sit, right? Or hold back. I'm not sure. This this may hold a you know, it can be a different for each one of you, so it, it'll probably be personal, right? What is it that is holding you back? They're wanting you 
break free? Is there something that you've been contemplating? Some change you're wanting to make? You're holding to yourself back? Is it something to do with your past? All is well again. And healing. You've been through a difficult initiation, inhalation. I'm not sure what this word is, Taurus. But you have been through a difficult inhalation, inla inhalation, which has prepared you for the role of a healer. Don't doubt your power. Okay, some of you, it can be that you're meant to go down that path. That may be your north node here as well, right? You may be meant to be a leader, um, to guide others. Um, you have that wisdom and experience. So if you're holding back when it comes to something to do with healing others, they're telling you to pursue your passion here. They're saying you're ready, say yes, something. And chakras and heart calling. Wow, it's saying the same thing. We have heart calling, reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need and now is the time to follow your heart's desire. Yeah, your heart's calling you in some specific direction and you may be resistant or you may be um, not listening to that inner calling and they're saying it's perfect time you need to move forward and somehow that may be how you um, meet this person that is coming through as well right because we did have that business uh, colleague or this person may be in the same profession as yourself that is coming through as well Let's get, let's end with one card from these romance angel deck, whatever they're wanting to say here. Who is this person coming towards Taurus in love 2022? One card to represent their energy when it comes to Taurus. Well, move forward. Yeah. Look, wow, that's crazy. Fertility and childbirth. Again, she's holding a baby. How many um, references did we have? Like five to children. We have moved forward. Sometimes you have to stop waiting for that person and instead find it in somebody else. Really depends, right? We have this couple walking away and she's looking back at them. There is disappointment here, five of cups. She has her back turned here to this one cup. So it really, they were ending a cycle and you, it can be a mutual energy. So you both may be letting go and this person was ready to move forward with the Six of Swords, right? And they're wanting you to do the same. So they're saying to stop looking back at the past. We need to look forward to what's ahead and also being present. We have dangers of a lustful relationship. Lust is a tool, desire, a trap. Wield the first and you can take someone's soul. Fall into the second and they can take yours. Take a romantic trip start a new relationship take your time when it comes to that um this person there was definitely love at first sight lust whatever right but there's also emotions here if i look at your outcome i want to pull out this dating deck because i did for the other signs What is this person coming towards Taurus in love 2022? What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions towards Taurus? Soul connection. There's this bond between us I can't explain. But it's also scary for them with fear coming through, right? What is this person coming towards Taurus? In it to win it. Yeah, they may just be really scared. We also have nervous here. I worry about how our date will turn out. I hope you like me. Yeah, obsessive thinker with the devil and ten of swords. This person exhausts themselves, which is why they may be very picky when it comes to partners here as well. I'm never giving up on you. I'm never ever leaving your side. You are where I want to be. Yeah, this person feels like they belong with you. You make them happy. There's some difficult cards in this deck, so it 
it's not just all happy go lucky right there is challenges but for you it seems two positive cards were coming through fine dining yeah they'll want to take you out with the sun coming through right get to know you better we have look work you're so smart i love that i can discuss work with you another reference to work here for how you'll meet or just um, similar work ethic, morals, I don't know, the way you handle money. There's a lot you have in common is what I'm getting. We have, I want to wine and dine you at a fancy restaurant. So that is how they're approaching you here as well. Serial dater. I like to date many people. Don't take it personal. I need more clarity. I'm not getting a player here. The only player energy I was getting is some of you, your past. And we have young at heart. You make me feel like a kid again. Another reference to kid. So be careful if you don't want to have kids. Clarify serial data here. Gift well to do. Romance. <sighs> One of you will have a hard time trusting this connection with serial dater. There's trust issues on both ends, is what I'm getting. I don't see a cheating vibe, right? So I can't just make up something I'm not seeing. Maybe a fear here. Yeah, this may be someone who is, there is that fear of getting hurt. So one or both of you may be keeping your options open while you're getting to know each other. So not putting all your eggs in one basket, right? Because we have, I would like to get to know you better. So yeah, definitely the trust issues can also be, you know, who else are you talking to? A little bit of possessiveness with death because I'm preoccupied. This person's very busy and I told, I, I mentioned that um, they will be distracted here. I see that two of pentacles juggling many things. And look, bottom deck, I'm afraid you will hurt me. There's also, I think this is a mutual energy. Someone may feel the other is playing them or they're just scared of being played. I don't have that. Yeah, look, will you have my back? And I'm worried that you are interested in someone else. Yeah, which is why I'm taking things slow. I really want to get to know Taurus. Is Taurus a player? I don't know what their intentions are. That is sort of the vibe. And I think you'll be feeling the same here with Serial Dater. I don't get a player um, energy here on both ends. Your energies are beautiful. Just a lot of fear creeping through. But yes, Taurus, hopefully this resonated, gave you some clarity. Some of you may know this person. Others of you, winter and new friend, you'll be meeting this person around winter here. But yes, take care of yourself, and I'll see you next week. Bye.